Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at the Oakley MSK3 or I'm assuming Mask 3. Now this is obviously uh, another face covering option that Oakley has put out. Um, in this day and age, this is something that everybody has to wear or um, should be wearing on a regular basis. So obviously I'm not here to discuss whether or not you should be wearing face coverings or a mask, I'm just here to show you another option in case you are interested in it. Um, I have a video of some of Oakley's other face covering options. I'll go ahead and link that above and below in case you guys are interested in seeing some of the other options that Oakley has out there. So again, this is the MSK3. This is the box that it comes with. Uh, it says designed by Oakley in California. And then on the bottom there, it says face covering, non-medical and non-professional use only. So again, this is something that you're gonna use in the event uh, that you go to a place that says that you have to have a face covering. So what they're saying there is that this is not necessarily a mask, so it's not gonna do what um, a, an actual face mask would, uh, would do as far as uh, medical options. Uh, this is more of a face covering to get you through um, having to wear a, a face covering in you know, a, an establishment. So uh, on the side here, it just gives you a little bit of information, um, just the different fits and things like that. So um, one of the things that I wanna get straight out of the way is this is um, an expensive product. This retails for $60. Um, I was actually able to pick it up on the standard issue website for $40. Uh, but even, even at that, uh, $40 is um, uh, quite high for most people to pay for a face covering, especially a, a non-medical and non-professional use face covering. So uh, just to keep that in mind, um, this uh, obviously, uh, I picked it up because uh, I love Oakley, uh, I, lo I love their stylings, and I think with this, they kind of went back to um, some of those stylings that we like from their eyewear. So I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, and maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about. So as you open it up, inside is the face covering and um, you do get some information here, uh, you know, regarding the MSK3 and some more paperwork. So let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic here. Now this is going to come with um, a couple filters. It comes with two filters. And okay, this. All right, so um, you have a little instruction booklet here, MSK3 uh, instruction. So it just kind of tells you um, that's what it looks like. This is how you take it out. Um, that's how you put the filter in and um, then how you adjust it and everything. That says hand wash, do not bleach, drip dry in the shade. All right, so um, let me grab a, I see a tag that I want to cut off of there, so let me grab a quick knife here. Um, so here is the MSK3, have it upside down. So obviously, as you can see, it has a really, really interesting styling to it. You have your icon right there. Uh, it's got this rubber feel all the way around it, and then this almost like fabric texture feel right in the front there. So um, we'll go ahead and take it out from the packaging here so we can get a closer look at it. And it does have this rather large um, tag here on the side, which um, I am going to be removing. But here it is. Um, once it's out of the packaging, you can see that it is a little bit more flexible, uh, but it's not gonna fold flat, completely flat, or at least I wouldn't fold it completely flat because again, just uh, this um, kind of rubber material all the way around, I don't know how it would do if you continuously um, fold it flat or not. So here is um, just obviously information um, regarding on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off because it's a little bit obtrusive when you go to wear it. So obviously a pair of scissors would have probably done better here, but I'm a knife guy, so I'm gonna use my knife to cut it. And try not to cut the actual strap. And one more. Okay, there we go. All right, so put that off to the side. Close up the knife and here it is. So uh, again, it's a really awesome styling, very reminiscent of uh, Oakley, obviously, um, some of their past uh, products and things like that. You have the icon right there. I like the two-tone color. It is This is the only color that it comes in. So this black with gray and then the mesh right there. You do have some elastic straps on the side 
and um, they are adjustable, which is nice. I like that because that way it'll um, allow for a more comfortable and proper fit, uh, especially if you're gonna have to be wearing the, um, the face covering for some time. So as I mentioned, it does come with two filters. Um, this one says disposable filter, and then this one here, um, it says a reusable filter, hand wash, drip dry up to 25 cycles. So that means that you can wash this uh, up to 25 times and use it. I know there is um, a difference between the two, between the disposable one and then the reusable one, as far as, um, I don't wanna say the word protection, but if somebody knows exactly what the difference is, go ahead and leave it in the comment below. Um, but obviously for a day-to-day -day wear, I would probably be using the reusable filter. So that's the one that I'm gonna go ahead and put in there. Now, you do have some uh, Velcro portions right here. That is where the filter is going to attach. And then right at the top here, you have this section. And one of the key selling points about this face covering is that um, it was designed with, um, with the ability to wear eyewear and not have it fog up. I know um, that is the one issue that a lot of people have with their either face mask or face coverings is that you know if you wear prescription glasses or sunglasses, they tend to fog up as you're wearing the uh, the face covering or the mask. So um, you know obviously it makes it uncomfortable to do that. So um, Oakley's claim is that the MSK3 here will allow you to wear eyewear and it will not fog up. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, and see that. So again, you have uh, the Velcro portion here on the filter, and then you also have um, a wire in there to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're wearing it, or more um, custom, I would say, when you're wearing it. So just uh, go ahead and attach the Velcro on either side. Make sure the straps are out of the way. And then obviously you wanna make sure that this is sitting underneath that portion there because um, you know you want it to work the way that it should. So there is the filter all around. Uh, and the face covering itself does have a um, metal wire running through the nose bridge portion right here as well. So it makes it um, easy to custom fit it to your face as well. Now, um, one thing that I have heard is that people say that if you run out of the filter that you can use one of the regular um, uh, kind of the paper masks that you see everybody, those blue paper masks or light blue paper masks. Um, and I believe that Oakley has said that um, not to do that, to use, not to do that, not specifically with those, but not to use anything else besides the actual filters that are supposed to go in the MSK3. So, uh, you know, to each their own, you know, um, I know they do sell the replacement filters, not exactly sure how much they are, but again, this one is reusable up to 25, 25 wash cycles. So that should give you, um, you know, good usage, you know, obviously depending on how much use you get out of the mask. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, um, put this on so you guys can see what it looks like and then do a quick test with some eyewear to see if the claim that Oakley makes that it does not fuck up does um, hold up. All right guys, so I went ahead and adjusted the straps on the MSK3 to um, make sure that it fits comfortably. So basically you just put it on like any other face covering. Straps go around the ears um, and it is pretty comfortable. Those elastic straps, you know, and you could still give it a little bit more adjustment if you want, you know, if you want it looser or tighter. And then obviously you want to make sure that you um, make, make sure that metal bridge that goes over your nose is in place. As you guys can see, it does come down um, quite a bit, but um, it doesn't go down as much as some of the other face coverings or masks out there on the market. So I'm still able to speak and hopefully you're able to understand me. That's something else that a lot of other face coverings and masks, um, you know, uh, sometimes people a lot mention that you know, it's not comfortable to speak because either the mask sucks in or anything like that. Now, I can tell you that as I breathe, the filter does get sucked in as I'm breathing in and out. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and test the claim that if you're wearing eyewear, they will not fog up. So I have my pair of prescription crosslinks here. This is what I would normally be wearing if I'm wearing prescription eyewear. So as you guys can see, I'm just doing regular breathing and they are not fogging up. And again, that's thanks to that area 
that um, kind of rubber area there that allows for the air not to come up and that's what causes the eyewears to fog so in and out no fogging whatsoever but i did want to test it also with a pair of sunglasses so this is just a pair of fuel cells here it is I'm trying to get a little closer so you guys can see and I don't know if you guys can make it out. The, the filter in there is kind of going in and out as I breathe. And again, no fogging whatsoever. So this is great, especially if you're gonna be wearing a face covering or a mask or anything like that for a prolonged amount of time, or you're walking outside or you're wearing eyewear. You know, you wanna make sure that, that they don't fog up, especially if you need to be able to see what it is that you're doing. So the MSK is doing a great job at that. So just for testing purposes, um, I have uh, another mask. This is just a generic, um, kind of one of those regular masks, but it's, um, it's almost like a cloth version of that. It does have the elastic loop. So I'll put these on. I'll put this one on. Again, it does come down a little bit more and you can adjust it up here, which is what I would do. And I'll put on my prescription glasses and immediately they started fogging up. I don't know if you guys can make that out but immediately as, as I put them on and I started talking they started fogging up and we'll do the sunglasses the fuel cells and again also I don't know if you guys can make it out but yeah as soon as I started talking with this face covering or this mask on they started fogging up so definitely the MSK um, it did a great job at that not happening and the claim that Oakley did that um, they engineered it so that it didn't do that is correct. So let me go ahead and turn the camera back around and we'll wrap it up. All right guys, so there you saw it. Oakley's claim was 100% uh, correct. You are able to wear the MSK3 and have either prescription glasses or sunglasses um, and they will not fog up, which is great. Now, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is that worth the 40 or $60 price tag that this face covering has? Again, that's, that all depends on you specifically. Um, for me, obviously being an Oakley fanatic, I did want to go ahead and pick it up, not just to use it, but also um, to showcase it to you guys because I think it's very important to be informed of things like this, especially when they come out. Uh, I know these sell out very quickly in the stores when they come in, um, but you know, check the stores, check the Oakley website if you guys are interested in picking up the MSK3. Um, if you're like me, I've purchased tons of face coverings, tons of masks, kind of trying to find that perfect one. And you know, some are good, some have their issues, but none of them um, definitely allow for the glasses not to fog. Every, every mask that I've used, my glasses still fog up. And that's just something that I deal with. I either have to put them a little further away from the mask or something like that. With this, I can go ahead and wear my glasses, whether they're prescription or sunglasses, right where they should be and not have to worry about them fogging up. Now, um, the fact that it comes with both the reusable filter and the um, disposable filter, that's really cool. Also, as I mentioned, um, if you guys know the difference between the two, go ahead and put it in the description below so everybody can, can read that. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I think it's, it's, a, it's a great option. Again, you know, the price tag is a little high, but if you, um, if you are in need of what it's offering you, then I think it's, um, it's you know, definitely justifiable. And um, I, it is very comfortable too, which is one of the key things. Sometimes, you know, if it's gonna give you the options that you're looking for, but it's not gonna be comfortable, then, you know, obviously it's, it's not worth it. So uh, there it is. That is just a look at the new face covering option from Oakley, the MSK3. As I mentioned, if you guys are interested in seeing some of their other options, I'll leave a link below and above so you guys can check those out as well. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.